Well, now what? Oh, I was about to say. You're going back to Abyss? I was like, no, no car, like, moments, but no, we get those too. Yeah, why not? Yeah, I want to reorganize the information I have so far. Then why don't you just do it in this limousine? Because that's wasting gas, and that's not good for the environment. Oh, right. I guess I could. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so much for that. You know, you really should wear socks in here. Yeah, anyway. Why is that the first thing I noticed? I don't know. Anyway. Oh, don't. The thing went off. Which, what, what is it now? What haunted spot would you like to go to? Uh, well, I don't like anything scary. Wait, my, my points are max crazy? Huh? I'd say more brave than cra crazy. Even though I don't want to go to a haunted location, I still think I'm brave. Oh, hardy, har, har. All right. Uh, in that case, an old battlefield, it, you know, I mean, these are all just bummer places. I guess the mountains, because at least, hey, you get to enjoy the pretty mountains. That got me more crazy points. You're effing joking. Agahara Forest, eh? You really shouldn't do it. What? Why not? Has it really been 20 minutes? God, that last, that last little, like, interview section was kind of long. In hindsight. But also kind of good. It was nice catching up with, you know, the characters from the first game. They're not real people, but god darn it. I loved them. Also, goodness. How many bottles are you going to take out, woman? I mean, she can't even touch them. So that means Ryuki's... Ryuki can't even drink. What the dun... You're a bad influence on him, lady. Uh, Scream like a little girl? You know, I kind of want to hear that. Why, why does that say about me? Uh, okay, I don't want to pick that option after all. And again, it is the most uh, interesting. So let's hear it, Tama. I thought it would be the girl. What the heck was that? Shut up! Stop shouting! Honey, I don't know what to tell you. This is a let's play. If we're not shouting, nothing. it's just effing boring. Come on. But you surprised me. I mean, a girl in my self driving car? Uh, I thought that the ghost of an S&M pervert with a police uniform fetish who died in a tanning booth had come to haunt me. I never really thought about it, but yeah, this is this this outfit is so ridiculous. I like the hat, but like, come on, it's so silly. Haven't I showed you this body many times over the past six months? I guess. I'm still not used to it. Your body is semi-transparent, and I can only see you in the left side of my vision. So, why did you come out? I thought it would be easier to talk to you this way. All right, fair enough. I want to like this character. I really do. And I do be judging books by their cover and that stuff. But come on, man. It's the hat. It's 100%. Can I take the hat off? Hold up. Let's try. Let's try. Also, I realize there's like other uh, effing outfits. Um You missed me so much. We 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 peaked. I'm not I'm not buying the other ones. I Even don't though wear anything. Even though the top, the, the one for, you know, I was pretty good. I kind of want that one. She's got a Yukata, dude. It's, it's rad. Anyway, I just now realized this does not affect the outside world. So, like, we're still going to have the effing hat. Whoops. I just wasted everyone's time. Sorry. <laughs> All right. So. Uh, the reason Jin's right half suddenly appeared. Isn't that what you're investigating for? Yeah. I thought you'd have, you know, some clues. Yeah, but remember what Mr. Date and Iris said. For some, For some reason, reason, just the right half. I could travel through time and space. Maybe that body teleported here from some other world. <sighs> I mean, it could happen. Wait, is that, does that bottle of beer have a Belphegor on it? What? No, it's Baphomet. What? The other half could have been absorbed into some other dimension. And that's with the body in two. I'm not trying to be mean here, because I understand. The director probably loves Iris. Like, he really loves the character. And he tried his darndest to make her appealing to the weeaboo masses. And maybe non-weeaboo non masses, too. What do I know? What was the what was the intent there? But when she talks, my I feel like just someone puts a sprite zero on top of my, like, brain. I mean, they, they crack open the can and pour out the soda. That's what I'm implying. Please do not let it be some goofy time travel or interdimensional bullcrap. Bruh. Don't tell me you believe that. I absolutely don't. No, just... It's a possibility. For some reason, it's stuck in my head. Like all this Sprite. 
It's mixing up with the magnetite of my skull. <sighs> so what do you think of this car, huh? It's pretty cool, eh, right, babe? Mm. Well, honestly, it reeks of bad taste. Oh. It makes me want to puke just looking at it. I, I uh... Well, it's just, uh... Keep talking like that, and I'll throw you out the window. <laughs> You, you would not do that, come on. Then you'd be a goner too. Yeah, you'd not have an eyeball. I'm the one driving this car, you know. Oh, God. Uh, right now I'm using the car camera to steer the car remotely. Of course, control the gas and brakes. I signal, I send signals electronically. It's technically a self-driving car. Wow, the future's crazy. Why don't you take the leap and buy a different car? I can't. This car is all I have of my parents. So you put a mini bar in it? Your parents passed away, didn't they? Yeah, in an airplane crash when I was young. From then on, I was living with my younger brother. But six years ago, he also. Jeez. God. I also, uh... I realized in editing, I made, like, a error. I was talking about Date's, uh... You know, face and all that. And how, oh, I, I won't even resemble my parents. But I, I completely forgot Date's, like, you know, super secret backstory. I also learned from the wiki. Fun fact, Hitomi was supposed to be, like, the role of Iris. And, man, I... I, I, I kind of wish I got to see that. Like, I don't... I feel like we don't have enough, like, you know, games in this style about, like, you know, adults falling in love. It could be cool. Instead, we had Date and... Uh, Reika, who's a character we still never see, <laughs> and they're not falling in love. He's just being a creep. I don't know. There, there's probably a good reason they chose Iris instead. Probably for mass marketing reasons. Anyway, uh, organize the information, Tama. I'm bored. There isn't much useful information to sort out in the first place. If I had to say one thing, it would be the view cube video in that QR code link. By the way, I'm going to cut down on the word salad and call it QR video from now on. That 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 is fine by me. I'm cool with that. The teeny bit of information we got from that QR video is pretty much all we have. You don't know? I think it was about half a year ago. A video similar to that one went viral. Everyone was talking about it online. The mysterious video known as Bats 490, correct? There's a code hidden inside Bats 490. They say the code reveals a specific location. Everyone who visits that place is said to have gone missing. So where's the video? I want to see this crap. What? We all left behind the same message. I've learned the secret of the world. <sighs> Sounds like math. I, I don't know. It could be some secret society bullcrap, or just like a mass... Uh... I don't know, abduction? That's hard to carry out and not leave any clues behind. Hey, Tama, is Bats 490 still up anywhere on the internet? Oh god, here we go. I looked it up. Here it is. Uh, buckle up, kiddos! Oh, it's just bats. Oh no, it's not. Uh... No, but... Oh, god. By the end of the game, yeah, this is gonna have such a different meaning. What? This is actually really impressive how unnerving it is. Um, good, good job. Rip me, burn me. Wait, is that a number? No, it's not numbers. Ah, oh, man, I'm so tempted to, like, comb this while I'm editing the video. I'm sure there's some things I'm missing right now. Oh, there's numbers there, too. It's usually the numbers with this guy. This sicko in his nonary games. Or maybe it's the audio waveform. There's some- oh, what the heck was that at the end? Hmm. I have no idea what it's supposed to mean. Hmm. Tama, open up Adobe Premiere, stat! They say there's a hidden message inside, but I can't even tell where we're supposed to look. And looking's pretty much all she does, so that's... Well, I mean, if people on the internet cracked this crap, so could we. There's gotta be some forums or some trace left behind. That's how programmers get it done, you know? Someone else did the hard part, I can just copy their, you know, co copy their techniques. So, yeah, where the, let me guess, another anonymous video upload? Same as a QR video. Figured. It was originally uploaded to ViewCube, then it spread from there. The account holder is unknown. In any case, 
That's 490 is the only lead we have right now. If we can figure it out, maybe it'll lead to the QR video. So while Mi Mizuki's trying to figure out one video, Ryuki's doing another. Ryuki, you have a call. It's from Mizuki. Speaking of... Mizuki? I don't remember giving her my phone number. I'm connecting her. Okay. Hola. Oh, Ryuki? I got your number from boss. Okay. What is it? Wait, what's going on? I remembered something about Bax 490. I thought maybe it could lead to a clue. No way. What did you remember? Someone in my class at school actually figured it out. <laughs> Aren't you like in the middle school? He decoded the hidden message in Bax 490. Bullcrap! He did? His name is Shoma Enda. He might know something, so I would go find him. But he didn't get abducted. Anyway, see ya. Uh, 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 thanks, Mizuki, for your divine intervention. Kay. Shoma. Isn't that... Wait, the comedian's kid! Andy's Komeji's. Dump, it's all coming... Oh, yeah, it's all coming together. Holy... What the scallops is going on? Bruh. Shoma, you know what happened last night, right? Wow, he looks surprisingly normal. I guess he takes after his mother? The QR code displayed on that sign. There was a link in it leading to a video. We're calling it the QR video. I wanted to talk to you about it. Do you mind if I ask you a few questions? Mm, not the talkative type. Uh, okay. Before that though, ooh, new room to investigate, ooh. Yeah, I guess these are props for the show. <laughs> Jeez. It's not a bad place. Could be a lot worse given his father's Profession. It's uh, Ada Rooster. A, a door rooster. Ada Rooster? It's a character. It's an Ada Rooster doll. So it would seem. Man, I hope I can go back to the. Uh, I, I don't want to like risk it right now, because from what I can understand, this game has limited saves, but I have so many ideas for guessing the culprit. I hope we can go back there easier, like in the future, because, dude, I. Uh, there's a lot of names that would fit, but you gotta get first and last name correct. That's kind of rough, but I have one idea, and I'd be surprised if that's wrong. And I know we're this early into the adventure, but man. Wait, who is that? I don't know. It could be any goddess. Uh, a picture of Ame no oh, Uzume. That was my- A goddess from Japanese mythology. That was my first guess, though! I, I, I swear. Supposedly, she is the goddess of entertainment and laughter. And taking her clothes off. Somebody's got to be the god of that, you know. She can dance really well. It's, uh, yeah, it's really, really, really silly little face, huh? You laugh more often than you breathe. I'm sure she's great. Is this a poem written by Kameji? It says, It's okay to fall off the horse. You're a saddle after all. Huh. What? <laughs> <laughs> She's so easily taken aback. Wait, this was supposed to be touching? I, I guess. God dang. What is that on top? Looks like earthenware. Maybe it's some sort of device? Earthenware as in for tilling the land? I, I really don't know. I mistook it for a TV antenna. Uh, wait, this is from the studio. Huh, guess it's a prop. I see you like your Gumpla. I do too. But God, they get expensive, huh? So, uh, your dad's pretty cool, huh? Just to confirm, your father is Andy's Komeji, and his real name is Yoneharu Enda. Is that right? Uh... This is so awkward, Jesus Christ. Well, let's give it down to business then, dude, about the video. You know about the video called Bats 490, right? I have a feeling it's related to the QR video somehow. You solved the code in Bats 490, didn't you? And it showed you a certain location. Am I right? Dude, come on, I'm the police. Sharpen up, young man. Man, what's gotten into him? I mean, I guess we'll find out if he is like, you know, tied to this. So you Mizuki go to the same school, huh? You like her? She talks a lot about you. I heard you went to the same elementary school as Mizuki. She's actually the one who told me about you. Nothing. Not even... Oh. Okay. What are you making? Don't tell me it's a bomb. No, come 
on. Not even a flinch. He's completely ignoring you. Ryuki do be kind of a pushover, though. But I mean, it's fine. No, not everyone can be assertive. Maybe because he's wearing headphones. No, that's not it. There's no sound coming from them. Uh, is he deaf? I was about to say, like, wait, which is the one where you can't talk? But I'm pretty sure that's mute. The chastity belt on his heart must be locked tightly. Bummer. What kind of metaphor is that? I thought it made sense. You won't be able to see his uvula unless you open that lock. All right. Open wide, mister. Um, so what you mean is he probably won't speak unless you can find the key to his heart, I'm guessing. There might be a key somewhere in this room. Let's find it. A key to open the lock on his heart. Hmm. Great. Uh, no key in there. What about this guy? It's a puppet for the quiz? Okay. That robot is so cool. Yeah, that, that wasn't it, bro. Everyone loves robots. Let's try the, uh, Herm. It's no use talking to him, I think. You'll have to find the key to his chastity belt first. Okay. Where the heck's his belt at, anyway? Oh God, please help. I can't talk to small children. You can help yourself. I literally can't. It's bullcrap. Why don't you try going under the kotatsu? Uh, because it's not my house. You probably run away. Also, that's weird. It's a grown up man going to your house. I'm all out of ideas, bro. Uh, maybe that remote control? You want to watch some TV? No? Christ. Let's see here. Why don't you hit your own head with the hammer toy? <laughs> wow, what a jolly guy he is. I'm gonna tell him everything I know now. <laughs> I don't think that's going to happen. <laughs> Do it anyway, bro. It'd be great. Why don't you smack Shoma on the head with the folding fan? I don't think he'd ever speak to me. Probably just to say, ow, or get out. I mean, that's not the appeal, is it? Hey, can I get some, uh, you got some salsa in here? I'm a little hungry. And doesn't look like it. God dang. Am I getting unlucky or what? God, can I just say though, like man, I know this is made in Unity. I just got that Unity taste. You know what I'm saying? It's like a, it's like an aroma. But holy dump, they are pushing it, bruh. I mean, Neo the World Ends Review is also made in the same engine, but like, God dang, I love this game. It's just cozy. The colors are a bit much though. So I, uh, even if the, um, Okay, this is Johnny Awesome Nerd moment while I'm looking around. Even though the colors are, uh, what's what am I saying? Like, very bright. And, and, like, the PC port might be Omega, like, Super Shenron scuffed. Uh, I still opt for the PC version to get the colors exactly right. That's what I'm trying to. Oh, a closet. What if his dad was just in there bound and gagged? What is that? Uh, what? It looks like a robot. Is you the Eggman? I tried searching, but it looks like it's not commercially available. He's making his own bots? And they're not even femininely shaped? Dang, boy, I'm proud of you. A homemade robot, huh? God dang. Despite being a hormonal teen, he just, you know, he's... Hey, Shoma, would you mind showing me the robot in your closet? Dude, what the frick? He'd be like, how'd you know about that? Huh? How do you know about that? Oh! Well, uh... <laughs> you can't explain the eyeball. <laughs> Tell him you heard it from Komeji. Okay, okay, okay. Right. I heard about it from Mr. Komeji. Thank God Tom is here to save our balls. From my dad? That's right. Okay, then. Just for a bit, okay? Is it a comedy robot? Oh, uh, wow. That's actually insane. Well, this dude's gonna be rich. He's doing this in middle school? You made that? And it's self-piloting? What? He doesn't even have a control- Whoa. Yeah. I call it Bobata. All by yourself? Uh-huh. It's just went on PooTube to find tutorials. Not that hard. There's a junk shop in Akiba. I got all the parts there. This robot only has one tire. It uses a gyro to keep its balance. Fine-tuning it is really hard. Holy moly. Sure is a robot. I know it's a game of fiction and all, but like, in the future, could you imagine kids just doing this crap? It's like, yeah, I just went on GitHub and, you know, I figured out some protocols. I mean, you know, we got there in the end. Oh, he's so happy. Compliment strongly. That's what I'm saying. He's taking initiative. He's trying to get out of the chunks, bro. That's what I'm about, man. Love this kid. 
I hope you're not the killer. That's really amazing. I can't believe a grade schooler made a robot all by himself. A genius like you must be one in a hundred million. No, no. I'm not that special. Oh, he's blushing. <laughs> this kid. Well, how about that? Looks like the lock has opened. And he's not he's not even making gumpla, bro. He's like, yeah, I'm just making the real thing. F it. Looks like it. Nice. So, uh, anyway, your dad might be a killer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Andy's Komeji is my dad. <laughs> I didn't think you'd say that. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what? Your, your dad, you know, he, he's, he's, he's a silly little guy. It's fine. I don't really want to talk about him. I don't blame you. He's kind of creepy. Why not? Well, because... Why does it matter? Oh, God. Oh, no. Uh... Is he, like, abusive or something? I don't want to ask him about the Yakuza straight away. What are those headphones for? About Mizuki? She's just a classmate. I, I, I don't I don't like her at all. I mean, you know, she's so rude, abrasive, and, you know, a commanding leader. We're not friends or anything. I don't talk to her much. Oh, uh, so it actually is like that. Dang. Well, you should. She's great. Do you wish you could talk to her more? Oh. Oh, Ryuki, come on. You can't say that. Uh, no. Of course not. <laughs> That was the same way. Even though she's cute? That Ugo? She's not cute at all. <laughs> His temperature is rising. That was clearly a lie. Yeah, I could tell. Real talk though, I was not that big a fan of Mizuki in the first game. But that's because she's literally a child. I'm excited, wow. you know. I think it's about time we get back to why I'm here. Yeah, I should probably get on topic. But like Mizuki, now that she's all grown up, bro, like what's she gonna be like? We still don't have an answer. We're like what? How many hours are in this game? I'm so pumped. I solved it. Yeah, you solved the case. All right. Hmm? The bat's 490 code. I solved it. Um, how? Can you show me? Like step by step? I have to go soon. No, no, come on. So I'll tell you the short version. Oh, okay, six, 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 six. That's fine. Please just tell me. The video's hidden message pointed to a certain location, right? Yeah. And where is that? Dude, come on, help me out. Horidori Lab. Okay. The Horidori Institute of Genetics. Genetics Lab? What the heck could be there? Oh my god, we're going already? We're not getting back up? Oh. I heard about it last night on the news. Oh, oh, it's just a What is wrong? Ah! Truly unprecedented. <laughs> what a mysterious case. Dude, these developers just be making the most uggo freaks on earth, bro. What the dumb? What? I am Takara <laughs> Horidori, the director of this research institute. Homie, what the frick are those? He hasn't retired yet. His 60th birthday was last year. Well, you know, it's his passion. We can't judge. A what? New question. Do you like eating jellyfish? Miso soup. That doesn't even say with miso soup. Pickled. Is jellyfish a part of Japanese cuisine? I've never thought about that. I mean, you know, it's adjacent to them. I do like miso soup, regardless of there's jellyfish or not. I want, you know, I'll pick that. That's what... How is that more crazy points? How is that crazy? That's the least crazy thing! First time I heard it. Sounds good. Uh, well, I'm guessing you're the guy that put out the video for Bats 420. Like, are you trying to just hire new uh, scientists? Wait, well, is that is that Prometheus? Excuse me. What is that statue? It could be really anybody. No, it looks like Poseidon. Ah, that's the symbol of our research philosophy here. Uh... It will take a while to explain, so perhaps another time. But I wanna know. Dang it. Well, all right. Be that as it may. Uh, about the video. Uh, it was mentioned on the news, but the video itself wasn't broadcasted, so I haven't seen it. Hmm. It is possible it's not really his doing. Could be one of his employees. Then you don't know about Bats 490. What is that? It's a video that's very similar to the QR video. I've never heard of it. I actually came here to ask you about it specifically. There's a hidden code in the video, and I've heard it points to this research institute. I have no idea what you're talking about. Tama, is he lying? Perhaps someone just made it up. Uh, he's hiding something. Like, it's not lying. Man, it's never this easy, bruh. 
So the suit looks familiar. Is, it, is this a cycled asset? Uh, everyone's wearing protective garbs except for him. Crazy. Uh, Looks like a grotesque monster might be trapped inside. I actually like grotesque things. Yeah, I know. Okay. She's. <laughs> she definitely do be kind of quirky though. Ibo's just. I don't know. I guess more my style. Sort of sassier. Tama just seems like a handful. So about the institute, is it keck or cringe? Beyond, beyond, beyond with me, Ch Chikara. Just be honest. We mainly conduct research on gene therapy through genome editing here. Are you familiar with genome editing? Oh yeah, big time. I, I edit all day, every day. You know me. I'm in there, green screen effects. You know, pan crop. That that's really all I can do. But I, I yeah, I'm getting better. Site specific nucleases. An artificial restriction enzyme known as CRISPR-Cas9 is commonplace these days. Genome editing is a technique that uses this enzyme to splice, replace, and bind any base sequence of DNA. Whoa, my God. So this is just eugenics. What? What could lead to eugenics? Yeah, I don't even know what any of that meant. I didn't understand that at all. Okay, sicko. In other words, it's technology that rewrites DNA. Indeed. Well, that could be good to cure certain diseases, but also really, really bad and used incorrectly. Last year, we developed a revolutionary genome editing method we call PURGE. With this, genetic diseases that were previously too difficult to treat, for example, severe congenital heart diseases, are now curable. Dude, thank God. But, like, at the same time, bro, uh, this could get bad if it's in the wrong hands. But that's not all. In theory, using purge, even immortality is achievable. That's not that's not good. That's awful. Dude, call me crazy, but man, humans having limited lifespans. Uh yeah, that's I don't know. It might be for the best. I know what you're thinking. No, Johnny, I wanna live forever, but bro, then your life just stops like having meaning at a certain point. The fact we know eventually, you know, we're gonna die makes every day have meaning. I'm not trying to get philosophical on you, but like, you know what I'm trying to say, bro. Immortality? <sighs> bro, there's only so many books to read, you don't feel me? Oh, but I don't mean your body will be invincible. Oh, so you still get shot and get, you know. Death can still occur via trauma, ingesting poison, viral infections, this sort of thing. However, it can make death due to old age. A thing of the past. Can Purge really do that? Indeed. The body's deterioration due to aging can be prevented by rewriting all of its DNA, maintaining a permanent state of youth. That's horrible. That's so scary. However, this has not yet been proven. It's still in its experimental stage. But it won't be long until our hypothesis is substantiated. The ultimate dream that humanity has been yearning for, for thousands of years. It will soon become a reality. You know, I'm here for, I'm here for a little while, you know, that's all I'm trying to... I... What do you think? Isn't that wonderful? Absolutely not. I mean, I don't want to lose, you know, people important to me, but... Uh, forever is a long time. Uh, yeah, no comment. Uh, anyway, uh, so you know this Jin dude, right? Any, you heard of him? I know of him, but I haven't met him in person. I've only read some articles about him online. He's the CEO of a music distribution company. I'm the director of a genetics research institute. So you probably never bump shoulders. Uh, we have nothing in common. This guy's really creepy, but he's probably just a red herring. They are going out of their way, though, to, like, kind of paint the timepiece of, like, yeah, we're on the verge of, like, curing all, like, diseases and stuff. Who knows, maybe in six years we could invent a thing which could cut people in half at the molecular level. Anyway, where were you at 6 a.m. on the 9th, you sicko degenerate? Jun's estimated time of death. I was sleeping in my bed at home. Like so. <laughs> That's how I tend to sleep. <laughs> they say seniors are early to rise, but uh, well, it's not true at all in my case. <laughs> Perhaps that means I'm still young. <laughs> uh, you wish. <laughs> Is there anyone who could back your story? Don't tell me I'm a suspect. Yeah. Uh, well, 
You have sneakers. Where are you sneaking off to, you freak? I'm just doing my job. <sighs> I've always wanted to say that. Oh, what a nerd. <laughs> Good for you. Your dream came true. <laughs> I live alone now. Unfortunately, there's no one with me at home. So no alibi. Shikara got divorced six years ago. As for children, he has one daughter. She's 32 years old. Oh, okay. Well, dang, all right. His daughter and ex-wife are currently living in Italy. In other words, there's no one who can corroborate Chikara's alibi. That's right. Okay. I mean... Uh, Ryuki, don't you think something is off about Chikara? Big time, bro. Blue shoes, red pants, the frick you doing? You think so? You really are dense. You're dense enough to be the target audience for mobile game ads. What's that supposed to mean? What? What's wrong with mobile games, Tama? Huh? I, I like them. Wait, mobile games can be fun. Most of the time, though, they take your, they take you to a page to force you to download a different game. It's kind of like advertising fraud. I've never had that happen once. The heck? Anyway, uh, huh? Is temperatures fine? His temperature is abnormally high. Isn't it? Maybe it's hot in here. He does have a coat on. Maybe he has the flu. Don't make me pluck out your eyebrows from the inside. Oh my god, could you do that? That's horrible. But I like my eyebrows. Do you think he's upset about something? Probably. Mm. Ryuki, let's find out if he's hiding something. Okay. Wink sink. Yeah, let's give it a shot. Wait. So, oh, this is this is the new mechanic they alluded to. <laughs> Time stop! Oh wait, that was kind of cool. Uh, what? So we have seen the video. Uh, sky. Wink sync is a simplified version of syncing, but you're still taking a look inside their dreams. The dreams are made from memories, so there shouldn't be anything in there that he doesn't know about. You're saying? Chikara knows about Bats 490. He was lying to us earlier. Dream Mr. Chikara, what? can you accompany me to the station? Hold on. Dreams aren't totally composed of your memories. He could just imagine what Bats 490 is. No, he's seen the video verbatim. So for sure, yeah, he's lying. Anyway, Wake Sync is a simpler version of syncing from Eyeball Me. A strong magnetic wave is shot at the sync subject. Temporary numbs the subject's brain and puts their brain into a faux sleep-like state and deduces a dream. Oh my god. By analyzing the faint dream waves emitted during this, we can see part of the dream. It's not a clear image by any means. To investigate more thoroughly, you have to sync with them proper. A wink sync can only be performed once a day because of the high amount of power required. It needs to recharge before performing it again. Personally, I don't like it because of the power consumption. And we need to save the planet. You're coming with me, you freak! What? Why? Because I said so. And that's why. Get in there. Come on. Come on. I'd like to speak to you in more detail. You do have the right to decline. Of course. But if you're not guilty, then you have no reason to decline. I'm a very busy man, you see. I... Uh, I... Very well. Huh? I'll go with you. I thought he was gonna... He didn't even put up a fight. Bro wants to see our stinking special operations. Okay, okay. God dang, this is getting good. And I'm not talking about the silly juice I be drinking. Yeah, I'm back on the sauce. What of it? What are you gonna do, cry? What are you gonna do, cry? Just because it slows down my heart rate 100%? Whatever. Whatever. I don't care. Yeah. God dang, bro. He... He looks like that... That freaking big-headed Marvel character. What's his name? Is it Brainiac? No, that's like too... That's too stupid of a super villain name. <laughs> Modoc. That was it. Anyway. Well, that's equally stupid. <laughs> Anyway, I know there's characters in front of me and all, but I want to find the funny. Well, so much for that. All right, back to back on topic. Hello, my love. I mean, uh, d boss, any progress? There hasn't been any progress yet. The people over at HQ are totally incompetent. Isn't this HQ? They must have had stuff with fermented beans or something. Well, what are you gonna do? That's where we come in, I guess. I gave Chikara the usual medicine to put him to sleep. Are you sure that's okay? How did you get him to eat it? Is it like a blow dart? What do you mean? I mean, maybe there are legality issues. Oh, don't worry about that. Uh, that's scary. The higher-ups will take care of it for me. Ah, uh, right. Okay. Who knows? 
He's not here? He went off somewhere right after you left. He's probably playing the nipple guessing game at some cabaret club in Nakamaguro right about now. You can't, they can't take their tops off of those, the freak. He's on vacation, so I'm sure he's taking a load off while he can. What is the nipple guess game? I'm thinking... Three. Nope, I got two. Dang it! No, he's taking a load off, all right. The nipple game is a game where a man asks a woman to guess where their nipples are while their shirt is on. What? Even if a guy's asking a girl to do it, it's kind of problematic. That doesn't even seem like a game. That just seems like harassment. What fun. I'm saying that sarcastically, by the way. Why are you here, pewter? Shouldn't you be behind bars for fun and love? That was like effed up, bruh. Like, he literally, he got played. But I guess they got him out because Abyss just like works outside the government? I don't know. Hmm? Why do you ask? I'm the engineer of Abyss. Of course I'm always here. Yeah, but I've been wondering about something. In November of last year... Oh, crud. You were dishonorably discharged for reasons related to the new Cyclops serial killings, weren't you? You leaked internal police information. Not to mention you aided a criminal in his escape. I made some arrangements behind the scenes. <laughs> it's really just that. Like, they just hand wave it like that. Yeah, but you know, we had to reuse the model, so y you know. It's hard to find good talent in the inner city. Pewter is a crucial part of Abyss. I couldn't let them lock him up. That's fair. You can do that? Normally, no. But in this case... Boss has dirt on members of the executive, judicial, and legislative branches of the government. I am truly grateful to you, boss. No need to thank me. You just need to be a good little workhorse. Oh, and it'd be great if you could introduce me to some good-looking studs while you're at it. Mm, I know a few, but I don't think they're interested in someone like you. <laughs> I know about... Mm, a dozen. <laughs> I'm counting on you. This is kind of scary. It is. It's like, yeah, we're like kind of an underground secret organization. Like, whatever. Uh, you get used to it. Uh, anyway, uh, about the malfunction of the abyss. Wait, the abyss communication systems? Oh yeah, they're still down. Uh, that's outside of my jurisdiction. Yeah, our routers are on the fritz. <laughs> we're trying to get the internet company out, but you know. So. I don't know too much about it, but I'm sure the person in charge is desperately trying to fix it as we speak. <laughs> Plot twist is Date, and you just didn't show up for work. Uh, well, I do, I do have a, I do have a Cisco certification, but this is beyond me. Uh, it should be fixed soon. All right, all right. Is that what it's called, Cisco? What? I got Thomas' report. The QR video seems to be the key to solving this case, and she believes Chikara is linked to the Bats 490 video which has a striking similarity. He's extremely suspicious. He must be the culprit. That's too easy, bruh. I think it's a bit early for that conclusion. Also, if he made the video, why would he direct it back to his base? That's kind of that's kind of sketchy. But he said he didn't know about the video, right? Maybe he's just an effing dickhead liar. That's why he got divorced. Can't freaking tell the truth. If he's willing to lie about one thing, he's willing to lie about everything. I I did not talk to that woman, Veronica. I did not. I still think that's a bit unreasonable. Well, I'm about to find out. So that'll be that. Oh, that's our first sync with Ryuki. Let's go. In any case, shall we get started? Oh yeah. Ryuki, you know what to do. Oh yeah, I know what to do. Just start hitting things until it breaks. Wiener time. Oh yeah. Time to get in a hot dog soon. Dun -dun 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 -dun. I'm a clickbait the internet. Da -na 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 -na. A wiener game? What is this? And get like mass disliked and just freaking flagged on YouTube. My entire career's over. I I thought it'd be funny. Why did they pick like a weenie? I don't know. I kind of dig it though. It's XD random humor. My favorite. Ryuki, this isn't your first time sinking. You've delved into Somnia many times in the past six months, so I'm sure you know without me telling you. But. I can only stay in Somnium for six minutes. It's all right. I know. Okay, then. Let's begin. I'm pumped, bro. I'm pumped. La last, last time was a fluke. You got, you got to admit, that one was confusing. But this one? I'm on top of things. We're going to find these bats. And then we're going to... We're going to give them a nice bow tie and a banana. Aw, oh, no weenie suit. Man, what the fr... I got scammed. What? This is actual horse anus. I'm so tit. What the heck? Indiana Jones? 
and only half of them. What is this place? Whoa. It looks like something made by an older generation of CG technology. Back when it was still hyped up as groundbreaking, huh? Hmm. I guess this guy's a bit of a gamer. Wait, what was that? Hey, did you see someone just now? Looks suspicious. Why don't we ask that person there about it? Who? Uh, Indy? You must have a lot of questions, like, what happened to your other half? Not really. Must be hard to walk. Bench pressing must be tough, too. <laughs> you really want me to ask about that stuff? <laughs> yeah, do it. But, hey, isn't benching kinda hard? Hey, why are you talking to a statue? What the, that's, so, that's such a dumb joke. Damn it, Ryuki. Stop wasting my time. We got six minutes, bruh. We can only be insomnium for six minutes. Oh. What the? Hey, get back here, you goblin. Damn it, damn it, damn it. This is getting out of hand. That's Chikara. Tama, follow him. Whoa. This one's sick. On this side, my genius left brain harnessing my processing power. On this side, my brilliant right brain within which my creativity is boundless. What the very layout of this facility itself mimics <laughs> my brain. It will serve as inspiration for my master. You look so lame. What's going on here? Uh. I need to be careful. I can't get too close. Now, this. Bionic body's accidental biology. The bionic body creation program. Bio what? BBAB. The logical center of the left brain and the creative center of the right. By combining them, I can create a superhuman. Homie, he did this crap. There's no effing way. Like, or at least he gave the the true culprit the tools to do it. Holy heck. Whew, would want that guy. What is that? I hope I never see you again. <laughs> Goodbye. What is that pose? Jesus oh, Christ. He ran off. Okay. Oh, man, I thought we were going to have that music the whole time. That was banging. Jakar in this dream world is just as bonkers as he is in real life. But he do be posing significantly more. Looks like he doesn't want anyone in this room. Hmm. Yeah. You can tell by the conscious antibody in front of the door. Conscious antibody? They're an embodiment of a sync subject's caution. When you try to access information that the sync E is trying to hide, it overstimulates the synapse. That makes the body emit a ton of norepinephrine, which creates a conscious antibody within the somnium. Sure. Let's, yeah, yeah. Well, what does this conscious antibody do? You see how it says instant death on his crotch there? Uh, give me a minute. It's still rotating. I'll take your word for it, yeah. If I touch him, a massive delay spike will occur in the sync information transfer system. Which means... Touch him and our available time insomnium drops like crazy. Got it. But how do we get into the room without getting past our do not touch power stance man friend here? <laughs> power stance? <laughs> well, we just need to get rid of the conscious antibody somehow. Okay, so give his brain a little tickle. Easy. What if we use that device that Chikara was using to move instant death power stance man? I'm sorry. Instant death power stance man? Yeah, I thought that was a pretty appropriate name for him. It's too long. Even in Japanese, it's too long. Anyway, let's check the device first. Yeah, let's just start poking around. Oh, Looks like the power is out. They'll fall apart eventually. They always do, bro. Let's start by activating the device. Yeah, let's. Oh. Somnium scan! Break. Activate! Show us the weenie, come on! Maybe post, you know, activation, she does it. Please, please, I'm dying. I got it. I got a lol. It's an addiction. God, this looks awesome. The first one was too. I don't know. Vanilla? Yeah, sorry, Ryuki. Your trauma wasn't cool looking enough. That's effed up, but like, you, you know it's kind of true. Oh, he's got a lot. Sheesh. I mean, it's always intimidating at the start, but this is like the second dive. Like, what the heck could happen? There's no doubt about Ch Chikara. It's hiding something. Open the door to expose what he's hiding. The lock on that door is open. Past that is a stone statue with no power. Power? On a stone statue? This is Chikara's Somnium. You don't have to think about the logic. Anyway, that door. Let's head past it to the stone statue. Okay. Couldn't have been more direct about that. Use the blank. Join the blank and create a blank. Okay. Where's the weenie? Ah, I'm going berserk. 
All the water in the pond is... Pull out? What? Are you fishing? Oh, the, wa the water in the pond is rippling. You need to pull your rod out. Yeah. Hey, I got some brave points! Sometimes amazing Trevor treasure me found. Trevor. <laughs> Gosh, all right. I'm effing angry. Where? Well, welcome. Where is the? Dude, did I pre-order this game? Did I get actually real life scammed? <laughs> did she only do this while in this mode? Like, I will wear any. There's no. Apparently not. I'm effing it. Oh. Oh. I'm ticked. This whole time I was like dying to see. Like, I just have to look at her like this. F that. She points her like feet inwards. That's not good for balance. Oh, what's that called? Like pigeon toe? I hate that. Like a bunch of anime girls do that crap. It's freaking weird. I guess it's to make them look, I don't know. Look at her hands. Oh my God, it's so cool. What the dumb? What the dumb? I Look at it. It's crazy. That's so gnarly. I love it. Anyway. This door is open. Is this even a door? It's so thin. That's just how it is in this world. Don't worry about it. Let's go. Oh, it moves sideways. Do we lose time? Okay, We're we here. don't. Thank God I was worried about that. That's the stone statue without power. Let's get closer and check it. All right. This is some, uh, is this like slightly vaporwave, like, inspired? So look at that gradient back there and all the Japanese letters. I mean, it's a Japanese game. Of course, they were going to have that. Updated keys. Use the machine in the center. Join the two stone statues and create a transcendental superhuman. Ugh. I don't like this. Call me old-fashioned. Off and on. Is this the switch for the statue? How do we turn this on? Hmm. Why don't you feel around that area? Oh, God. Don't do this. His, 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 his balls! What area? Whatever feels right, Tama. Mm. Oh, God. Oh, God. What the heck? Why? Ah! Just the robot arm control PC has been activated. <laughs> I might be overacting a little bit. Come on. It's just like round and round and round it goes. It's so do uh. It's not even like I'm embarrassed. It's just silly. All right. God dang, I'm better this game than I thought. Yeah, baby. Activate the right frontal. All right. Well, I guess you liked it for some reason. It's on. You're amazing, Tama. It says not available. Stone statue activated. Wait, so is it on or off? Maybe you need to flip the switches for all the statues. Right. According to the Somnium scan, there are multiple statues, but let's head back to the device first. How did you know there was a switch there? What? What is her, What is that face? I'm embarrassed to admit it. I paid attention in health class. <laughs> I'm such a How did you know? Let's go back to the device. Okay. Oh, wait. Can't we go to the other small room from this room? There's no bridge. It doesn't connect. Look. How would you do that? It's too high. I can't jump that. You could try. All right, blank. Human, your powers. You can blank to blank if you wanted to. Uh, all right. So we're getting the layout of this place. Nice. We can go through here. She has so much hair. It's like a cape. Not Hobino looking behind. Okay. Uh, we checked out this one. Anything? Those who catch fish in bodies of water, such as oceans or rivers. Is it? talking about the actual statue? Oh, he's a fishing pole. They are knowledgeable about the ecology of fish and have many skills that aid them in catching their targets. That's true, though. Fishermen do be, like, kind of smart when it comes to fish. Fun facts. They go out to the ocean pretty much every day, have incredible navigating skills, and a sturdy body. Sea peoples. You mean the guys from 1200 AD? Wait, I actually know about this. Just because of Shimogami Tensei, but, like, legit. Like, that was a thing. Supposedly, they were wiped out by a rival Mediterranean kingdom. Not much is known about them. Huh? What? What happened? Why do you say huh? What? Is he doing it again? Uh, Those okay. okay, we get it. I just wasted time again. Son of a... Okay, whatever. Uh, we can't get access Ryuki, to here. Five minutes left. This is actual eggs. 
Uh, so this is like an adventure type guy. All right. They investigate ancient ruins in order to uncover what Earth looked like in the past. They not only require a scholar's knowledge, but also the decision-making ability to avoid traps placed in ancient ruins. Just like that one professor. Oak. Yeah, the <laughs> guy with the whip that got chased by that big stone ball. Oh, I thought it was metal. Was it? Definitely was not. What's that a reference to? Maybe they're thinking of somebody else. Wait, there's a lot of dudes in here. So we got the Fisher guy, the right guy. So I, I think the puzzles just develop the smartest, uh, strongest dude, right? Yeah. What do we got here? Astronaut. They go to outer space by using rockets to breach the atmosphere of Earth. Doesn't sound like an astronaut. They are highly intelligent and athletic, which allows them to move in zero gravity environments with ease. They are required to have high mental fortitude to live in outer space. Much of which is still unknown to us. Further than us all, they've flown. Makes you want to wax poetic, I see. Please don't. Please don't. Okay, to the sky, humans. You're okay. So at least that's... We're on the right track, I feel. Man, it scares the dump out of me, bro. Like, we know less about our ocean than we do space. Like, yeah, maybe there's just nothing down there but effing fish and crap. But, like, bro. What, what if that's not the truth? Sheesh. Something to think about. A warrior of the Maasai tribe, a nomadic tribe who predominantly live in Kenya and Tanzania. They have great physical ability and are skilled with spears. They are capable of fighting wild beasts like lions. Among Maasai warriors, those who jump the highest receive the greatest praise. They're famous for their jumping skills. If they can beat a lion with spears or their bare hands, they must be really strong. I'm fighting some goddamn really weak lions. You ever think of that? Maybe they're the Mount Ernest too. To the sky, human, your powers, you can fly to outer space if you wanted to. Well, we finished the uh, keyword thing, but now I guess it's time to get cracking. Uh, oh, look at that! Ew, ew! But it's so cool at the same time. BAB activating. In this experiment, you can combine two different brains with different functions to create a new human life form. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. We just need to choose the left and right brain and combine them like Jakara did. I'm the space guy for sure, but I'm not sure on the other side. What can we choose from? Left. Maasai warrior, fisherman, and A. Right side was astronaut and archaeologist. Well, it depends on the task at hand, what they're trying to accomplish. I mean, I guess to make a superhuman, but that that's so vague. We can combine different brain functions of the left and right brains and create a new human with characteristics from both. It seems like Chikara used that to gain some kind of power earlier. So creating a new human means gaining some kind of superhuman ability. And you select that power on this? Oh, I remember seeing another room next to the small room we were in earlier. Yeah, it was too high, so I couldn't reach. Maybe we have to give you a power that'll help you get up there. Oh! Oh, God! Yeah, she just needs to jump really high. Worth a shot. Beginning experiment. Please select left brain function. So the guy from Kenya and maybe the space person? Because, you know, this might be a zero-G environment. The room was high and far. By combining two brain functions that'll allow us to move that distance. What do you choose, Ryuki? Well, the choice is obvious. Maasai warrior. Please select right. And then we get astronaut. Left. Maasai warrior. Right. Astronaut selected. Watch me be wrong. Starting experiment. I could be. For right now, I'm second guessing myself. No. No, come on. No. We're fine. It won't be that big of a waste. What's going on? Oh, no, Tama. Experiment successful. Uh. Just like I expected. Well, you didn't get really Combined. buffed. A Maasai warrior's leg strength. What a shame. And the atmosphere piercing power of an astronaut to gain superhuman leg strength. Tama, you okay? I have goosebumps. It said you gained superhuman leg strength. Maybe we can get to that other room using that power. That might be it. Let's give it a shot. I'll tell you, I kind of figured. Let's go. Yeah. Four minutes now. God. I mean, it's only a third of the way, but yeah, we made huge progress. We're fine. Let's jump. Come on, Tama. Go, go, go. All right. Let's go. Okay. Ready. Uh, am I? 
That's so goofy looking. That that's the worst forever. What the frick is that? Experiment has done it again. Epigenetic ecstasy. What are we even watching right now? Oh. By stimulating the DNA correlating to high leg strength through imagination, it caused a slight transformation in the base sequence. This small change has allowed for surpassing the limit of telomeres. We can do anything in the simulation world. There are no limits. What a wonderful world. I guess things worked out. Still can't fix your hairline, bro. So every time we do something right, we have to watch this creepy old dude ascend into the sky. It, it's not worth it, bro. You want to join? It's not worth it. Hell no. It's just so annoying. Good lord. All right. Either way, we're making pro. Wait, is that a st was that there before? A stone statue without power. He's got a helmet on. Activate it. Don't mind me, silly Willy. Just mess with your silly Willy. <laughs> Like, is that allowed? Is that is it is this allowed? It's, it's definitely PDA. This stone statue is a racer. Huge F and arms. Look at them suckers. God, I'm jealous. No matter what I do, I work out arms all day and just I got that Mewtwo body, bro. It sucks. If they mean an autosport driver, those guys are incredibly skilled. They have to make split second decisions. That skill might be beneficial in other areas than driving too. Like at the grocery store, you know, you you have to avoid the other carts, so. Not to mention, there is a car right there. I see. Using the driving skill. But look, that says trap. Driving skill alone might not be enough. Aw, oh, please let me play a mini game where I have to like avoid cars. It'd be ever so fun, Spike Chew Soft. You're just so ever great at driving controls. I love it. I love it. Maybe we can combine it with a brain function that's good at avoiding traps. I don't remember seeing anything like that. Ryuki, it was two effing minutes ago. Anyway, let's head back to the central room. Dump. Why am I sweating, bruh? Why am I sweating? Like, we've not effed up once. We're gonna, like, finish with just the right amount of time. All right, super reaction by the person trapped by blank. Six, no, seventh sense. They who traverse experiment experience it. Okay. Can you jump back, okay, Tama? Is that is that oh no, this door is open now. Got this door is open. I wonder if we can go to the central room. Yeah, let's we can. go find it. Alright, so we gotta swap out her legs for a silly hat. She's I'm actually kinda distraught. Here. Looks like we can open it from this side. Now. I wanted to wear the weenie suit. So bad. So does that mean they're selling DLC? I freaking hate DLC. More like DLP. I'm sorry. Anyway, uh, freaking, dude. Beginning or like just just the one room? That's nuts. Wait, we need another side. Oh yeah, racer and then. Please select. Archaeologist. Left. Easy. Left. Get it, Tom. <laughs> She'll have the wits of a Experiment. Harrison Ford character, I suppose. Combined, a racer's driving skill and an archaeologist's knack for dodging traps. To gain movie protagonist <laughs> superhuman driving skills. Guess it's time for love, Dr. Jones. That should help us dodge any traps. That's so antiquated. Nowadays, sports cars go up against nuclear submarines. Like in war? What? Well, well, this is Shikara's preference. Now let's go back to the room with the car. That think we can get there from the passage we came from? Yeah, that should lead you there directly. That completely blew over my head. What? Super. Supercars go, go against submarines. In a race? You have three minutes D left. Am I losing focus. my mind? God lord. Alright, get in. I'll avoid any traps with elegance and grace. I trust you. Even though the track looks like effing bullcrap. Oh, that's the thumbnail, baby. Look at that. Mm. I can't not do that voice. What, I don't know. What? Wait, what? It actually is. Oh my god, it's literally. It's the same bullcrap! Yo, this song's pumping though. That's the trap? I could have done this on my own. <laughs> I'd fall off instantly. Huh? Wait, what? That is so stupid. Shut up. Shut up! <laughs> you gotta you gotta admire the rocks turning though. Wait, no. I can't do this! <laughs> But you were scientifically engineered to do it. 
right? I can't believe they made a level about eugenics. That's so kind of creepy. Wait, we heard this before. Oh, it was at the start. Hey, what's going on? Oh, just jump! <laughs> I don't know. I'm not the genius archaeologist. Oh, all those so oh, she's so dead. I don't, I don't believe that. Good God, they a definitely amped up the budget for these uh, Somniums. Holy cow! <laughs> <laughs> Not a cassette. Stop. 